everybody um welcome back to my channel today i am actually doing makeup on myself um i haven't got any makeup on at the moment i've literally just washed my face and i've creamed my face and um yeah so let's just start today so i'm all about the lips more than the eyes I like to keep eyes pretty basic. So I've recently um, got this beautiful liquid lipstick from Fenty Beauty. Oh, look at that. Look at that packaging. So because I'm not doing heavy eye makeup, I'm just going to go straight onto the base, which I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to mix maybe. I might mix the NARS Sheer Glow with a bit of Bobbi Brown. Um, so NARS is a bit more of a medium coverage, um, but it's buildable into a full coverage and is quite more, at the moment it's quite matte on my skin. I don't know why. I wore this before, I used to wear NARS Sheer Glow all the time and it used to be a lot more dewier on my skin. Maybe my skin has changed or maybe the product's changed, I don't know. So that's why I'm mixing with the Bobbi Brown uh, Skin Finish Foundation because that is very sheer, it's very dewy, that's what I would wear on a day to day basis. So when you use NARS foundation, um, NARS is all about using your fingers to activate the products, to warm up the products onto your face. I personally don't like using my fingers when it comes to using foundations and stuff. It's just a bit too messy for me. So I would still use a brush. A few more around here, dot it. Cause it's got in the lid. So obviously this color is gonna be a bit too light for my forehead and my forehead is always a little bit darker than the rest of my face it's quite normal to be honest with a lot of people um so what i have to do is i have to use like a cream um like a contour stick and i'm just gonna contour that area to neutralize and even out so i'm just using like a pretty firm flat uh buffing brush and then I'm just buffing it using a circular motion, buffing it down. Okay, moving on to um, a Revolution Makeup Foundation Stick. And it's quite dark, so I use it like a, like a contour stick. I only use a tiny bit around my forehead near the lash line and a tiny bit around here. Because I have a more of a heart-shaped face. I don't want to go all the way out because that's gonna elongate my face further outwards and I don't want to do that. I kind of want a shade to create a shadow here to make my face a little bit slimmer on the top so it looks a bit more of an overall um, shape. So I'm dabbing a little bit first just to even out the product and then using a circular motion um, blend. So you can see that I never blend it downwards because you don't really want to create a five o'clock shadow. Um, you kind of want to buff it upwards. And then blend it around the cheeks to slim the face down. The whole point of it is so that it's blended so well that you can't see um, where the contour starts, where it ends, where your foundation starts, where it ends. So blending is the key. I need to just powder a little bit just to set around my um, forehead and then just to set around the rest of my face but not underneath my eyes because I'm probably gonna put some concealer a little bit later. So I am using the Studio Fix um, powder and just to lightly dust around my face to set. So I am going to move on to eyebrows. I am using the NYX Professional Makeup uh, Micro uh, Brow Pencil. So this one is in the color Espresso. So I am literally just following the shape of my brows. So now I'm literally just using the pencil and I'm just fill it all in. And you can decide how dark you want your brows to look. If you like it quite intense for certain stronger makeup look, then you can just keep on adding. Um, so I like to use a spoolie and I just brush it through. 
okay so this is not fully finished yet so i need to blend this bit but right now i'm going to do the other side to even out i like to do both sides at the same time pretty much with my makeup so that i don't have to have the stress of trying to perfect uh, the other side with this side if you know what i mean so i just want to do everything together and now we get to the inner bit so what i would do is i would use a very small like a pencil brush looks like that and then i would just blend it inwards wiggle it through wiggle 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 and then brushing it like inwards to create a fade I'm gonna keep my eyes relatively like neutral I'm probably gonna do like a winged liner and then yeah because the focus is really on the lips to be honest so what I'm going to do is uh, using like a blending brush like this and I probably would just give a bit more of a definition um, so I'm using the makeup obsession palette that I've created oh yeah you can see my you can see my camera <laughs> okay so um, it's such a cool packaging honestly so I probably would use something like blend the two together just create a bit of a definition because that's a little bit too warm for me and that's a little bit too dark so I probably would use like a tiny amount and then just to blend around my um, eyes or well this this I guess this crease bit I'll dab a tiny bit and then and I'm just gonna follow the hollow bit of my eyes and then I'm just gonna blend it using a circular motion it's really there just to create more of a definition than anything and then using a little flat brush dabbing a tiny bit of the brown for the lower lash line next will be eyeliner so i would use a gel liner first to shape the wings and then i would use a liquid liner just to make it a little bit more punchy and a bit more like a darker color i'm gonna start from my lower lash line and i'm just gonna elongate it that way that is when you create the perfect flick for the shape of your eyes um so i'm gonna do that There we go. I'm doing a quite a big flick today. Can you see the way it kind of just elongates it upwards? And then I'm going to do the other side as well. So that's my guideline for the flick. And now I'm going to just filling from the top. When you're doing liner, try not to do everything in one go. Really take your time. That's pretty much how I want my liner to look. So moving on to the ne next eye. Like, don't have your mirror too close to your face, okay? Because you're not seeing the full face, then you're not balancing it properly. You kind of want to have it a little bit further so you get to see both sides and then you get to draw what you need to draw to balance, if that make any sense. I hope he does. And the last thing I would say about liquid liner or any gel liner is that, um, is to make sure that you really get right into the lash line. You don't want that gap between your lash line and your liquid liner or your gel liner. It just doesn't look cute. That's pretty much how I will do my gel liner. And then what I would do is because I have an extra, I have extra greasy eyelids, so I'm gonna go in with a bit more of a like a nudie matte eyeshadow, and I would just literally put it just above the gel liner to mattify that area to prevent from any smudging. 
And now I'm gonna go in with a liquid liner just to make it extra punchy. Um, so this one I'm gonna use the Boudoir uh, 16 hour wear liquid liner. This is one of the best ones that I've used for a long time for a liquid liner that doesn't smudge as much. So now that I have my gel liner on, it's very easy then for me to use my liquid just to follow it through and then just to cover it. Okay, moving on to next, I'll have to use the black pencil and I'm gonna go on my um, upper waterline to tight line it. So here we go. Before mascara, I will always curl my lashes. It's just a must for me. Um, I said it before in my other um, videos for um, tutorials is that I think everyone should use a good eyelash curler to curl your lashes to give that extra boost um, before mascara and then I'm gonna go in with this brand um, heroin made I think that's I can't I don't even know if that is actual name of this brand or if the actual mascara but this is a Japanese brand it's awesome like I've used it so many times it's great for asian eyes if you have very straight lashes like me this mascara honestly it just the way it lengthens your it holds the curls like everything about it it's just so amazing um this is like my fourth one as well i've been buying this like non-stop you can only get it like online um or you go to japan so i'm not putting so much like I would usually put on if I wasn't wearing false lashes. Um, this step is really important before you put your false lashes. It just give a bit more of a, like a prep before the false lashes goes on. And then I would uh, put another layer of mascara to combine the false lashes and your natural lashes. And then I'm gonna go in with falsies. So I would measure the lashes before I put any glue on it um, just to see the length usually I have to cut a little bit off like that just the way it is for my eyes I guess um, so I will put it just on top roughly and I'm like okay where would I want it okay here so then I would just chop off a tiny bit at the bottom and now I'm gonna go in with the glue this is the duo glue in the black I'm gonna put this on the thin band not putting a lot on you don't need a lot with lash glue so I would look the mirror I will have it down and I would have my eyes looking down and then I will pop it like that with a bit of an angled really get as close as you can to the lash line so now I'm just gonna go in with a bigger lash curler and I'm just gonna go in Give a bit of a squeeze. Now I'm going to go back in with the mascara and this time I'm going to use the extended play Giga Lash from MAC. The brush itself is super thin and is water resistant and I'm just going to comb it through uh, from the base of my lashes and then just like lightly comb it through. So I think I'm just gonna conceal the under eye a little bit to make it look a little bit more polished and then I'll powder up. So I am going to use the MAC Studio uh, Water Weight Concealer. I'm gonna put a little bit on my brush and then I'm just gonna blend it. Go in with the powder just lightly pat it to set everything in place so I am using the hyper real glow um, highlighter palette so you have three different colors in this 
so gorgeous. So I'm using, I'm just gonna mix it to be honest. I kind of just went like that goes like this. And then using a fluffy blending brush and then I just apply it onto the high bits of my face, like my cheekbones. Now my face is all powdered and everything, so I'm going to go in with a powder bronzer. I'm using the e.l.f. Um, Fiji palette. It's like a blusher bronze, which is really nice. And then using my Kitco brush, powder brush, and just quickly give a bit more of a bronze on the side of my cheeks. Now I am going to move on to blusher. Um, so I'm probably going to use this one uh, from the Fiji palette as well. Just to quickly give a dab. Last but not least, hydration mist. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you will know this is a really important step. So I've used a lot of powder and I need to um, set my powder in place and also making my makeup look a lot more um, natural. I use a setting spray just to spray all over my face and then pat it with a fluffy like brush. Um, I'm loving freckles these days so I might just add a few. Last but not least, lipstick. I am loving this liquid lipstick. There you have it. It's quite autumn, 90s vibe look. Uh, thank you for tuning in and watching and um, if you got any questions or if you want me to do a different type of look on other people or even onto myself please um, don't hesitate and DM me or message me or whatever and we can make it happen and um, till next time bye